Shalom everyone, I am Max Siebel and I am a retired lacrosse player and a member of the 2018 Israel National Lacrosse Team. I'm currently in New York and want to check in with all of you during these challenging times around the world. I wanted to take this time to read through the ABCs of boys lacrosse with you. This is a book I wrote a few years ago. I thought it would be a great way to teach English and Hebrew to the Israel lacrosse community. So let's get started. The ABCs of boys lacrosse. A is for attackmen, in Hebrew, halutz. They lead the offense, score goals, and get assists. B is for solid rubber ball, stick bag, and bus. These are just some of the things players need when they travel to games. In Hebrew, ball is kador. Box lacrosse, also known as indoor lacrosse, is a six-on-six -six game played in a rink. C stands for coach. In Hebrew, ma'amen. He leads the team and teaches the boys more about the game. Cleats make playing on grass easy and fun. The cradle is the way a player holds and moves the ball in his stick. D is for defenseman. In Hebrew, hagana. They stop the other team from scoring. Dodge is a quick move to get around the defenseman. And dads come to watch their sons play. In Hebrew, that is Abba. E represents the energy and excitement you'll see from players during a game. Players wear elbow pads, in Hebrew, marpekim, on their arms to protect them from getting hurt. F stands for field, in Hebrew, migrash, friends, chavarim, and fun, which is kept. Face-off is the battle to get the ball at the start of each game, each period, and after each goal. Field lacrosse, also known as outdoor lacrosse, is a 10 on 10 game played on turf or grass. And the FIL is the international governing body for men's and women's lacrosse. G is for goalie, the player who tries to stop the ball from going into the goal. Goal in Hebrew is Sha'ar. Players wear gloves in Hebrew, Kfafot, to protect their hands. And ground ball in Hebrew, Kador Lamata, is when the ball is scooped up off the ground. H stands for the stick head, which you use to hold, cradle, scoop, and pass the ball. You wear a helmet, in Hebrew, kazda, to protect your head. The halftime huddle is when players get to talk and rest. I is for the ice pack, which you use if you have an injury. Ice in Hebrew is kerach. The Iroquois are the Native Americans who invented modern-day lacrosse. J stands for the jersey you wear over your pants. It has your number and your team name on it. K is for kicking. You can kick the ball with your feet to a teammate or open space so you can scoop it up off the ground. L stands for lacrosse and love of the game. Love in Hebrew is ahava. In boys lacrosse, two teams play against each other and try to score goals by shooting the ball into the other team's net. Long pole, in Hebrew, makel aroj, or long stick, is a six-foot stick that defenders use. M is for moms who cheer loudly in the stands. In Hebrew, mom is ima. Middies, in Hebrew, kasharim, are the players who cover the whole field and play both offense and defense. N is for the NCAA, which oversees athletes, activities at colleges and universities. O stands for offense, hot kafa in Hebrew. They are responsible for scoring the goals. Offsides in Hebrew, nivdal, is when too many players are on one half of the field. P is for the practice in Hebrew, imun, and passing in Hebrew, mizorot. You can practice with friends or by yourself. Pipes are the metal poles that hold up the net of the goal. And pocket is the string inside the head that holds the ball. In Hebrew, pocket is kis. Q stands for quickness, which is how fast a player can move. Quick stick, where a player makes a quick catch and throw without a cradle. There are four quarters in a game. Quarter in Hebrew is reva. R is for the rules. In Hebrew, hukim. 
it is important to know the rules of the game and the rib pads that you wear to protect your ribs. S is for sportsmanship. In Hebrew, sportivi. Teams show at the end of a game when they shake hands. Shaft is the handle attached to a head to complete a stick and shoulder pads that you wear to protect your shoulders. T stands for the team. In Hebrew, kfutsa and trophy. It's also for the Tuaretan Award, which is given to the top college player every year. U is for uniform, which all the players have to wear. V represents victory. In Hebrew, nitzachon. W stands for whistle and warm-ups. In Hebrew, himun. Before games, it also stands for wall ball, one of the best ways to practice by yourself. Wall in Hebrew is kir. And X is for lax, the abbreviation for lacrosse. Face-off X is in the middle of the field where play is started. Y stands for yummy treats players get to eat after a game. Yummy in Hebrew is taim. The referee throws a yellow flag to notify both teams of a penalty. Z is for zebra, or in Hebrew, zebra, a nickname for the referees because of their black and white stripes. Referees enforce the rules of the game. And that is the end. Now you know your ABCs of lacrosse. Thank you for spending some time and reading the ABCs of boys lacrosse with me. To all the lacrosse players around the world, stay safe, and we are all in this biachad together.